Hey everybody, welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. Alright, so I have been wanting to play a Yu-Gi-Oh! game for a little while here. Now that I got the computer set up, I can. So, I've... I was super into Yu-Gi-Oh! as a kid, but, um... Never really kept up with it. Um, I think that I, I stopped watching about halfway through the, like, the 5Ds era. And stopped playing the card game at the same time. So... I know the game's changed a lot by then, but, um, so what this game is, for those of you that don't know, came out a few years ago, it has up to Arc V here, and what this does is essentially you get to d play through the different stories of each era of Yu-Gi-Oh, with, with the sort of similar, like, rule set and meta, if I'm using that term correctly, I don't think I am. <laughs> so, we're gonna... Obviously, we're going to start with regular Yu-Gi-Oh! and work our way all the way up here, and uh, as we go along, I'll get to learn all the new rules, become re-familiar with the game again. You know, uh, 5Ds introduced the Synchros, Zexel introduced the XYZ stuff, which I think it's just called, pronounced Xy? That's what I that's what I hear a lot of video YouTubers call it. Arc V got the Pendulums, and there's actually a new one called Vrains that, what is it, Link, I think it's called Link Summoning. I don't know much about it other than that it pissed so many people off, but anyways, we're just gonna go we're just gonna go to the safe childhood nostalgia zone. I already played a few matches as you can see here. See a uh, bunch of lock stuff. This is just a tutorial. We're gonna start here with the first Yugi versus Kaiba. That afternoon, Yugi and his friends went to Grandpa's game shop. Yugi wanted to show his friends his grandpa's prized possession. Gramps, could you show my friends your super, your awesome super rare card? Wow. Almost just took that dialogue right from Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge. <laughs> rare card? You mean my special card. Hmm. Please, please. Uh, how can I refuse? You kids are in for a treat. I don't take this card out too often. Here it is. The Blue Eyes White Dragon. So rare, so powerful, I never let it leave my hands. This card is priceless. There are only four of them in all the world. Suddenly, a classmate from school ran to the shop. His name was Seto Kaiba, the young CEO of Kaiba Corp. He had the found the card he was looking for. Name your price for that blue eyes. I can pay anything you ask. I'm sure you could, but this card is worth more to me than you could ever, ever offer. Senile old fool. Kaiba stormed out of Grandpa's store. The team was disturbed by Kaiba's obsession with blue eyes white dragon. The next day, when Yugi came back to the store with his friends, he found Grandpa was gone. When the phone rang, it was Kaiba on the other end, mocking Yugi that he kidnapped his grandfather and took him to Kaiba Corp. Yugi and his friends rushed to Kaiba Corp and found Grandpa laying on the floor defeated. Grandpa, are you okay? Yugi, I failed. I wanted to teach that boy Kaiba a lesson about the heart of the cards, but I lost. Grandpa, how's the old man feeling, hmm? Kaiba, you sleaze, what have you done to him? We had a duel, that's all, with each of us putting up our most valuable card as the prize. But I guess playing against a champion like myself was just too much stimulation for the old fool. Kaiba, you should be ashamed of yourself. Look at this sweet prize I won. Kaiba held up Grandpa's Blue Eyes White Dragon and ripped it in half. Grandpa's most treasured card. Blue Eyes White Dragon is a rare and powerful card, and this one will never be used against me. My blue eyes, my treasure. Grandpa, hold on. How could you do such a thing? Yugi, take this. Huh, Grandpa? I built this deck, I put my soul in these cards, and I taught you everything I know, Yugi. Take my cards and teach Kaiba respect for the heart of the cards. Okay, Grandpa, I'll do it. Are you ready to play, Runt? Playtime is over, Kaiba. Ugh. Huh? Kaiba was taken aback by Yugi's sudden transformation. It seemed like he had become a different person, as if he was more confident and powerful than before. Prepare yourself, because it's time to duel. Alright, so how this works is you can either play with the deck that Yugi had in the story, or you can use a pre-built deck. So this game has a lot of stuff you can do with it. And if you also beat a chapter, you can also switch the roles, as in I can play as Kaiba in this section. So we're going to use the story deck, and... So, if you'll remember the first episode of the anime, Yugi wins by, um... Oh, just go with scissors. I guess I'm going second. Or no, he picks. Excellent. 
single mode, one round. Okay, so in the first episode of the anime, Yugi wins by half by having all the pieces of Exodia in his hand. So for this deck, I actually have all the pieces of Exodia in the deck. So my goal for this first chapter is to, is, is to try and win by having all the pieces, obviously. And as you'll notice, we're playing by actual card game rules, not, not the bullshit anime rules where they just kind of made stuff up. Regeki. Raigeki. Destroy all monsters your opponent controls. During your draw phase, when you draw a normal monster, you can reveal it. Draw one more card. That's continuous. I want, I want, I want, definitely want this face up on the field. That'll help with uh, summoning Exodia. Hmm. Monster Reborn, also useful. Well, Sangen helps you bring stuff to your hand, so I'll set that as a little trap for him to attack me with. Oh, I'm already having fun. I love, I love. The Yu-Gi-Oh! video games. The last one I had was like a 5Ds one on the DS. It was so much fun. Just to have a card game simulator like that. Um Destroy all monsters your opponent tries. No, there's no cost for that? Wow. No wonder everyone hates this card. Isn't this banned? I don't know. I have no idea what the ban list is. Um I think I'm gonna save my turn save my stuff for next turn. Go ahead, man. All right, he's sacrificing. Summon Rude Kaiser. That's right, attack it. Now with this thing, I can bring a piece of Exodia into my hand. Let's just bring, let's just bring the head. Okay. Oop. Because this counts as an effect monster, so if I draw the head, I won't be able to activate Heart of the Underdog like now. All right, I got Karibo. All right, so for those of you that don't know, here, I'll just, oops. Let's just take a quick look for those who aren't familiar. If you have the right leg of the Forbidden One, left leg of the Forbidden One, right arm of the Forbidden One, and left arm in the Forbidden One, in addition to this card, you'd win. You just win, because that's how it works. All right, so what we got here? 1,200, 1,500, decent defense, but during your opponent's turn at damage calculation, you can discard this card. Interesting. Destroy all monsters. I may as well use this one because I have nothing on the field. We'll set this just as a little protection. I don't want to attack him, even though I could set up to do that. I just want to get the pieces, so... I won't set down the Swords of Revealing Light yet because that stalls him and makes it so he can't attack for three turns. So, one of the reasons I actually wanted to play and also watch some of the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime again is... Yes, I want to activate that. Thank you. Yes, another one. Comboed. I've been actually been watching a, a ton of Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTube videos. Some of them really suck, but a couple of them have been pretty cool. Learn, it's been interesting to learn how, like, the games changed and, you know... All this, all, all this story of how how broken some of these cards can be. And it just made me want to play again, but it's like, you know, I don't want to just go out and buy a bunch of trading cards because they're expensive and I have no one to play with, so we'll just play a video game. Like a good lonely idiot in his bedroom who should. All right, so let me see here. Spellbinding Circle. Blah, circle. Activate this card by targeting one monster your opponent controls. It cannot attack or change its battle position. When that monster is destroyed, destroy this card. Okay, I suppose I might as well set this. I don't think, it doesn't seem like I have a fusion deck on the side here, or rather extra deck. I think they had to change the name of the fusion deck because it had more than just fusion in it. Hmm, I suppose I might as well just set up more, another barrier there and end the turn. So yeah, like I was saying, this era of Yu-Gi-Oh! is often referred to as, like, the Caveman Era. Because your opponent set a monster, activate what what effect? Oh, the trap card, okay. No. Nope. It's gonna ask me that a lot now. Nope. I don't need to. That's gonna get annoying, I can tell. Oh well. 
You drew cards, activate the effect of a card. No. No. It's just gonna repeatedly ask me if I want to activate this trap card I set now. Yeah, I'll just set this thing down. Because why not? Nope. We're just gonna end my turn again. But yeah, this era of Yu-Gi-Oh was just, was just kind of like, you play monsters and you whack each other until someone insults somebody loses. Nowadays, it's it's based on like all these crazy ass effects and the game's over in like a few turns. Trap Master is activated. Select one trap card on the field and destroy it. If the selected card is set, pick up and see the card. If it is a trap card, it is destroyed. If it is spell card, return it to its original position. Well, he's gonna destroy it, so if I activate it, will, I, will it do anything? I'm not sure. Let's try. Okay, it destroyed anyway. Whatever, it's off the field. It ended up destroying him, yeah. Oh, he attacked the best thing possible. Alright, so I'm gonna add what, this leg here to my hand. That's two pieces we have. Now, if I can draw a normal monster, I can do another... thing. Yes! That's three out of five pieces. And that's another one I can draw. I'm gonna have to clear my hand a bit here. Yes. For once, Yugi's awful normal monster deck is useful for something. Keep drawing, keep drawing. All right, part of greed. Oh boy, I could I could make an easy joke right now, but I'm not going to because I know everyone's sick of it. All right, all I'm missing is one piece. I got let's see, I got the right leg. Left leg, left arm. I'm missing the right arm. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to activate Monster Reborn. And I'm going to bring back Sangen. Put it in attack mode. Now if I go to battle phase. Let's see if this card is... Okay, so if I let it die by attacking his monster. Okay, I'm missing the arm... Here it is. I got it. You won using the effects of Exodia the Forbidden One. Well, that was fun. A little anticlimactic, but whatever. <laughs> you only play for power, Kaiba. That is why you lost. But if you put your heart in the game, there is nothing you can't do. The results of the duel spread quickly, and a mysterious one-eyed man gets news of Yugi's victory. Hmm, it seems Kaiba Boy has been defeated in a duel. I must learn more about this Yugi Moto. You know, what's funny is, um, if you actually... Oh, I got a... Cards, I guess. Okay. Okay. Next. Out of the cards. Ultimate Great Moth. Guess we're doing this one. But, um... I was about to say something. But I forgot what it was. Oh well. After his win against Seto Kaiba, Yugi was puzzled to receive a package from Maximilian Pegasus, the creator of Duel Monsters. Right, I just remember what I was going to say. Um, So in the Japanese version of the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime, the thing I found funny is that Pegasus, like, he actually calls, like, people... When he says, like, Yugi boy or Kaiba boy, he just... He actually just straight says that in, in the dub like that. It's funny. He's just like, Yugi boy, Kaiba boy. Okay, I'm, I'm probably starting trying to sound offensive. I'm going to stop that. Inside the box was a videotape. Yugi inserted the tape into the VCR. Wow, this is old. The Pegasus face popped up on the screen. Greetings, little Yugi. I am Maximilian Pegasus. I've heard some terribly interesting things about you. Your impressive defeat of Seto Kaiba intrigued me so much that I've decided to investigate your amazing dueling skills personally. Right here and now, we shall hold a special duel. Suddenly, a strange and arcane magic froze time, so no one could move except for Yugi. This dark dimension we're in is known as the Shadow Realm, a mystical place where incredible monsters can be summoned and the impossible is quite possible. Tell me, Yugi, do you believe there is magic in these cards? Don't you know? You invented this game. What if I told you I didn't? Huh? In ancient times, the Egyptians called this the Shadow Game. Powerful pharaohs would hold mystical duels in other dimensions, just as we're doing now. 
But instead of but instead of cards, they battled with real monsters and real magic. The magical forces were so powerful that the Egyptians lost control of them and nearly destroyed the entire world. It's a good story, but these monsters can't be real. These monsters are very real, and also quite dangerous, Yugi boy. You are really quite entertaining. The way you scowl and sneer, so defiant and yet helpless, and so completely ignorant of the power of your Millennium Puzzle. Yugi looked down at the Millennium Puzzle that he wore around his neck. The power of my puzzle? Five thousand years ago, a powerful pharaoh locked the magic of the Shadow Games away in seven mystical Millennium items. Seven items? You're saying that my puzzle is one of them? Yes, and there are mystical energies locked within it. Magic that could change your life forever if only you knew how to unleash it. As the two dueled, it seemed that Pegasus knew every move Yugi was going to make before he did. Despite this disadvantage, Yugi mustered all his skills and nearly won. But Yugi... What? Oh, I, I'm sorry. I must have hit right click. Sorry. <laughs> Yugi mustered all his skills and nearly won, but Yugi ran out of time when the time limit passed. I have taken the measure of your talents this day, Yugimoto, and when, we, when next we duel, we shall play for far higher stakes. I'm done with your games. Tisk, tisk, tisk. You presume I'm giving you a choice in the matter, but I'm not, for I also possess one of the seven Millennium Items, the all-powerful Millennium Eye. The Millennium Eye? That's right, Yugi boy. I'll show you the true extent of its magic. I have found that given the proper incentive, anyone can be play made to play my game. The power of the Millennium Eye lashed out and stole Grandpa's soul. Yugi could only watch in horror. Yugi. Grandpa. We will duel again, Yugi. How else will you ever reclaim your grandfather's soul? Yugi had no choice but to compete in Pegasus's Duelist Kingdom tournament so that he could get his grandfather's soul back. At Duelist Kingdom, each duelist was given two starships, which they could wager against other duelists on the island. Um, okay, I just noticed this thing's name. It's like Inf... Infinite? Infinite? Is that supposed to be a pun? That's bugging me. Whoever earned 10 starships gained entry into the tournament finals where they would compete for the $3 million grand prize and the chance to duel Pegasus himself. For his first duel, Yugi faced off against the conniving Weevil Underwood, a duelist with whom he had a bit of history. While riding the boat to Duelist Kingdom, Weevil took Yugi's precious Exodia cards and threw them into the ocean. So when Yugi spied we Weevil on the island, he chased him into the woods. Welcome, said the spider to the fly. You flew right into my trap. It's time you answered for destroying my Exodia cards, Weevil. Can't you let bygones be bygones? He he he. Weevil, it's time to find out if you're as good as dueling as you are at running away. Oh, snap. Was I simply running away or cleverly weaving you into my web? It's time to duel. All right, let's go with story deck. All right, so we lost Exodia. Now we have to actually play the game. Frickin' bullshit. Uh, scissors. Always go with scissors. First to go. Alright, so Yugi's deck obviously probably changed a tad. He even has some of the cards he used specifically in the duel in the anime. But it's kind of funny because they work completely different because the first season of Yu-Gi-Oh! It was before the actual card game was like printed and fully defined, so... They just made so much shit up, and it's just mind-boggling, and it, it frustrates you. And also, I have a fusion deck now. I have two copies of Gaia the Dragon Champion. Not bad, so if I draw a polymerization of those, okay, so... This is pretty good right here, I can just place this face down. And for those of you unfamiliar with the game, this monster has seven stars. So... I need to sacrifice at least two monsters on the field before I can summon it. Anything four and below can be summoned in a, in a regular fashion. Five and six, you need at least one summon. Ma uh, Makiu the Ma Magical Mist. Target one summon skull or thunder type monster you control. Destroy all monsters your opponent controls with defense less than or equal to the attack of that monster. You cannot conduct your battle phase the turn you activate this card. Okay. This is also something good to just set down, because it has 2,000 defense. 
When this spell is activated, if there are any field spells on the field, destroy them. During each player's standby phase, the turn the player takes 500 damage. Okay, it's continuous. It's not a field spell itself. But he's going to try and play like a forest field spell. I know he does that. All right. Let's just end the turn now. Can I tell you something that really bugged me as a kid? When, uh, when, the, when the card game first came out in North America, there it is. Big insect. Yeah, that's right, attack it, you idiot. When the card game first came out in North America, and, and like I started playing it with my friends, spell cards were originally called magic cards. Oh, this is actually better for me. I can just overwrite his field spell. Can I? Is that how it works? Oh no, it half and halves, I see, okay. Do I want Burning Land down then? You know what? I know I just wasted my car, but why not? Let's do it. Now I need to get rid of this thing before I take damage from it. But yeah, let me finish my story. So, spell cards were originally called magic cards, and I guess, I don't know, some... I don't know, some groups or moms or whatever didn't like the use of the term magic. So they change, had to change them to spell cards. And that, let me tell you, that caused a lot of arguments when we were playing the game, because if you had something that said, this affects spell cards or magic cards, like people would just be like, no, 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 my card says magic card. It's not a spell card. You can't destroy it. And I wanted to just punch so many kids in the face over it. Ugh. I can't be the only one that had that problem, right? Anyways, let's just set this face down as well. And end my turn. All right, all right, all right. Burning land. Hey, it didn't affect me. It affects... Oh, each standby phase. Okay. So we're both going to get whittled away here. Hmm. Dinosaur. So it's going to get a boost. What's the... Wait. Oh, no, 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 it's not. I, I destroyed the field spell. Silly, dumbass Christian. What are you saying? I could summon Gaia the Fierce Knight, but I'd have to give up these two good defense things, and he could probably just kill me, because Rule of Yu-Gi-Oh, if they have, during this era, if they have one face down card, it's probably just Mirror Force, and it's going to wipe your board. Uh, but... Do I want to summon that? You know what, I want to save it. Let's, let's just end the turn. I'm already having a blast here, honestly. I'm I'm looking forward to playing so much of this game. I mean, I just need to slightly adjust the window here. How long have I been going? Over 20 minutes, not bad. Um. All right. Horn of the Unicorn, that's good. What was the 1300, 1300, 1800. All right. I'm going to take a gamble here. I'm going to flip my soldier up. I'm going to give him the Horn of the Unicorn. This is one of my favorite cards I had in my real deck. Now he's at 2,000 defense, or attack and defense, rather. And we're going to wipe out some of his monsters. He'll take damage here. <sighs> of course, he had a trap. It wasn't Mirror Force, but... Let's just end the turn. It's fine. We're both slightly... We're both going to lose 500 points of damage at each turn. But as long as I have the advantage, as long as I maintain a defense, I don't think he can do really do anything about it. Okay, now he's going to block me from attacking him. You go ahead and do that. I got my Dark Magician. Okay, all right, all right, all right. The ultimate wizard in terms of attack and defense. Not that it matters. Even if I use Burning Land at the start, because it, it's during each player's standby phase, he would take the damage first. So I'd still win hypothetically if we if we we were at a stalemate like that. There's no point in. I might as well just set this so I have something to uh, tribute for. But for now, I guess that's all I'm gonna do. Ah, oh, this guy's annoying. Go ahead and do something, Weevil. You're just gonna keep losing stuff. Howling Insect. When this card is to... Okay, I don't get a chance to read it. It destroys me. 
draw phase. Another Mammoth Graveyard. What is this thing? When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one insect monster with 1,500 or less attack from your deck. Hmm. Huge bee with exceptional strength that's particularly dangerous in a swarm. Hmm. I don't have summon skull in my hand. He's gonna start bringing some attack and he's planning something. But I can't attack him because he's got this dumb thing for two more turns at least. It's, if he, if, I, I'd set this thing, but it wouldn't matter. He'd just destroy it. Let's see what he does. Graceful charity. Of course, you just get more resources, don't you? No, he's not going to attack me again. Okay, I've got Curse of Dragon. Now, if I draw Polymerization, I can get a good monster out on the field as a special summon. Curse of Dragon's an awful card, though. Like, for, for its stats requiring one tribute, it's like, nah, no. Uh, if I set this, he's just proving he's just gonna attack stuff, so... But why not? Let's see if he, he does attacks again. I don't know how AI works. Maybe he'll play it safe but he's got an entire board here he can he can mess me up if he draws something he can sacrifice for I don't have any traps down laser cannon armor oh that's cool oh boy any one of those could also be like a man-eater bug that'll just destroy me if I attack it I really I need okay I need to do some damage here 1400. Let's let's take a look here. 1500 attack. He has nothing that can stop me. What does this thing do? Insectite monster. That's like such bad to have in your deck though. As for an entire card to only give you that much points. 800. All right, let's see if I can clear some stuff out. 1500. This for sure should just get rid of you here. That got 1,500 defense, so we're gonna... Oopsie. We gotta pick one. It could be anything. What? What is that? 2,000 defense! Oh, he sacrificed for that. That's what, it, that's what he was doing. I thought he activated an effect. Damn, that was a dumbass mistake right there. I fell from my own little shenanigans. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a chance here. Oh wait, no, I can't summon this turn. I summon Celtic Guardian. Dumbass. Shows how much I know about Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh well, it's been years. I tell you, one of my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh games was um on the Game Boy Advance. It was Jeez, I just keep drawing this thing, don't I? It was called Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy. It was like a perfect, perfect simulation of the card game on the GBA. Like, a lot of the GBA ones, though, were were awful. Like, they were bullshit unfair, and I just... I can kill that thing. They were pretty... Yeah, they were pretty unfair games, and they didn't emulate the card game very well, but that one, Duel Academy, was just... It blew my mind how they were able to replicate a card game on, on a video game, and I, like... And Duel Masters technically did the same, but like, I don't know, Duel Masters is, in its effects, it seemed a little bleh to me. Because Duel Masters pretty much just is a watered down Magic the Gathering, so didn't seem that impressive. But, I don't know, I, I, I love GX Duel Academy. Um, I guess we're just going to end my turn here. I considered playing that game, but like, it's kind of just really outdated at this point. And the thing I, I hated about it is that like a lot of a lot of the characters in it just sort of had like the same magic and trap cards or spell cards, sorry. And it got a lot of the duels would get really repetitive, unfortunately. I figured this game, you know, I had the luxury of learn of playing through for nostalgia for the viewers. 
learning the new rules, and just a wider variety of cards to use, and just a more better interface. But who knows, I can still revisit Duel Academy eventually. It's a cool game. Um... We're still whittling away his life points there. I can't have a chance to kill him. You know what? I'm just gonna... Let's just go for an assault right here. Well, I say assault, but I need to keep the mystical elf down. You got 1,500? You're just asking me to hit this thing, man. Laser cannon armor. Now let's see if I can... Cocoon of Evolution. Dang it! That thing's a three-star with 2,000 defense. Yeah, this is Caveman Yu-Gi-Oh, folks. You just hand each other a club and you just whack each other on the head until someone wins. Like, if this was like 2018 Yu-Gi-Oh with, with 2018 cards, you can believe the game would be over fast. Like, like the idea that like you can just finish the game or, or win a game on your first turn still blows my, blows my mind because of how I used to play this. Mirror Force. Set that, not that he has anything in attack position anyway. Okay, you know what? Let's just get my Dark Magician out there. Now, can I? Yep. I didn't want to sacrifice this, but we're going to sacrifice these two. All right. The Magician is on the field. All right. So I know I need to get rid of this. Oh. I guess... Dark Magician just has his own little uh, effect there. Now, one thing I, I actually do know is, um, and the thing in the Japanese version, I think actually, yeah, Dark Magician's just called Black Magician, and you know you gotta you gotta change the change that you know, because because that that's offensive. Just like how in uh for Kid Icarus Uprising, Dark Pit was originally called Black Pit. You know, you can't, you can't have black mean bad. It's just bad. Well, I got, so I got my own swords revealing light, but... Let's just keep wiping his board. He's gonna die in two turns, but... That's cool, but... You can still hear, you can still hear, like, the noises of, uh, the, of me hovering over the cards while that animation's playing. All right, end phase. God, this is a really slow duel. He won't live to next turn. Oh, now he got his he got his field spell back. I can also destroy it again. And now he'll lose even more life points during his next turn. Not that it matters. I can just end my turn and, he, and I and well. I win. Your opponent's life points have been reduced to zero. It's over. I've won. Finally. No, impossible. My moth is unbeatable. Big insect. Swords of Revealing Light. So I have this stuff if I want to make my own custom deck. It's cool. All right, the next one. Yeah, I think this is the last well, I played this a long while ago when I was testing it out. So, this one you have to play as Joey's deck. And I remember hating it when I was messing around with this. Because if you paid attention in the first season of the anime, Joey has awful cards. And this game decided to be faithful in that regard. So you got Mai, who has this, like, freaking archetype deck of harpies. And you got Joey and his freaking weak-ass cards with barely any spells or traps. Yugi wasn't the only duelist who was motivated to win the tournament for a loved one. Despite being a novice duelist, Joey had his own reasons for wanting to win. His sister, Serenity. I'd better be the champion for Serenity's sake. She's always counted on me, even when we were kids. I'm going to win this tournament and the prize money. I'm going to make sure you don't lose your eyesight by paying for your surgery, I promise. This meditative moment was rudely broken when Joey and his friends heard someone laughing and taunting another another duelist a short distance away. A voice that annoying can only belong to Mai. 
The team met my Valentine on the boat to the Duelist Kingdom. She was a manipulative, self-absorbed duelist who had the uncanny ability to always know what she would draw next. Hey Yugi, are your duels going well? I might be up for a duel myself. So get ready because I cha choose to challenge you, Joey. What? You challenge me? Do you have the guts to accept? I accept. Let's duel. Get ready to lose. So as you can probably notice, they're not really... They, everyone only seems to have like one like portrait. So they didn't want to represent how they actually looked in the season. Anyways, let's do this. We're doing all this with the story decks, by the way. And if you're also into Yu-Gi-Oh! I, I also highly recommend this game my uh, myself if you want to play. If you're looking for like a Yu-Gi-Oh! sim to learn stuff, because this seems cool. All right, my pick. All right, let's see what we can do. Wow, look at that. I drew, actually drew some spells and traps. And they gave him a Rage Ra Ra All right, so the thing that's kind of bullshit about Mai's deck here is that, like I said, it's kind of an archetype deck. And so, like, archetypes weren't really a thing until, like, the... Uh, GX era. Look at her set up this board! Like... You are- this deck is in the wrong year. Look at this! That was her first turn! Six stars. Got a field spell. Cannot be normal summon. Must first be summoned with Elegant Egotist. When this card is activated, add one Elegant Egotist to your graveyard or deck hand. During the end phase, turn this card... Add up to three Harpy cards with different names from your hand to your deck. You can only activate one Hysteric Sign once per turn, only once per turn, like Jesus. Harpy Lady, Harpy Queen. You can discard this card to Graveyard, add one Harpy's Hunting Ground from your deck. This card's name becomes Harpy Lady once on the field. So, so the fun thing about Harpy Ladies is that, like, they had a sort of archetype originally, but, like, as they added more cards for it, they realized that the old cards basically said, only works on Harpy Ladies. So they had to make it so that all the new, new monsters were called, technically treated as a Harpy Lady, so that you could use the stuff with it. Harpy Chandler. I wanna, actually, I wanna, I wanna see this thing's art up close. That's cute. Harpies are cute. Don't take that out of context. I don't think you, I don't think you, I, you can't, actually. Anyways, Gaia Power. Increase the attack of all Earth monsters by 500 points and decrease their defense by, okay, so that's beneficial to me. What do you have? Increase of all Dragon, Wing Beasts, and Thunder-type monsters. Earth monsters. Earth seems to be Joey's thing, though, I guess. Is that? Yeah, it is Earth. Alright. Charges. So I could just... But Oh, wait, he needs a sacrifice. Kunai with chain. Activate one or both of these effects simultaneously. When opponent's monster declares an effect... Both activate one or both of the when opponent's monster declares an attack, target the attacking monster, change its that to target to defense. Target one face up monster, equip this card to that card, gains 500 attack. Okay, so I'm surprised I actually managed to draw some tra tra traps and spells. So I guess I should just activate this because why not? And I could just destroy all our monsters too. It's not like she has a trap, but it's like. Come on, if I didn't have Raigeki, or Rigeki, however you want to say it, that was just so stupid. Anyways, I guess I can just take a free shot on her. I got lucky there. Flame Manipulator. Battle phase. Boop. Attack. Deal slight damage. But... Oh, I thought I had an effect for some dumbass reason. Time Wizard's a stupid card. It's like a 50-50 if you can just destroy everything. If you do take damage equal to half those monsters. Yeah, it's, that's such a dumb thing. I don't want to use that. Alright, but... Hang on a second. Let me check out his, uh, his extra deck here. Yeah, extra deck. Thousand Dragon, Thousand Dragon, Flame Swordsman. Flame Swordsman is dumb because... Not only is it not that great a card for a fusion card, but in the anime, Joey just, like, summons that thing like it's a normal monster all the time. He never once does it correctly. But anyways, I'm gonna get hit here. 
Unless I can make good use of the kunai with chain. But she'll probably summon. Let's just see what she does. Oh, oh boy. No, no, no. Let's not do that yet. No. 1400. Nope. 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 Declared battle. Alright, so if I... Her attack's 1600. But I can, I can also put you in defense position. Choice three. Both effects, yes. So, select monster to equip. Me. Excellent. Good move, me. Okay, you just get to summon more of these. That's excellent. Baby dragon. Now if I can get polymerization. This dragon is gifted with untapped power. 1400, 1400. Okay, I just can't get it now. This thing will get a boost from my field that I set up, so... Even though I'm losing, losing the kunai, why not do it? Oh yeah, look at that. 23. Hang on, I should read these things' effects, really. You can discard one harpy card, social summon one harpy monster from your deck, except your harpy Chandler, you can only use the effect once, once per turn. While you control a dragon type monster, this card's level becomes seven. This card's name becomes harpy related while it's on the field or graveyard. You can discard this card to the graveyard to add one harpy's hunting ground from your deck to your hand. This card's name becomes harpy related while it's on the field or in the graveyard. Okay, so I think the one I want to get rid of is, oops, is this one. All right, let's see if you can deal with my battle steer. She doesn't have a lot of resources left. Okay, she's playing. I think I got her on the ropes here. She doesn't have anything she can do. Rude Kaiser. That's not good to have right now. It's also Earth. I'd essentially get the same thing if I summoned it. Could be a flip effect, so let's just get rid of this. And now the endless wave of monsters come for me. Battle Ox. That's actually really good. And it gets a boost. All right. All right. You're slightly weaker, so... All right. Takahi is gone. Now attack her directly. All right, this is good. She blew all her resources, so now she just... She just needs to, she needs to get her cards back, and I can just whack her until she draws enough to make, make use of something. Oh, that better not be a mirror force. Another battle ox. Okay. I'm gonna save this thing in my hand. I'll summon it on my second main phase if something bad happens with with that trap card. Okay, it's safe. You're almost dead, Mai. And just because I can, I'm gonna put another one on the board. Oh, I gotcha. Just like in, just like Joey did, I'm winning by dumb luck now. Like honestly, the first turn, I pretty much drew every freaking spell card or trap. Oh look, there's one route. Oh no, no, just out to make me look stupid, game. He really, like, really, like, he doesn't have a lot of these. It doesn't matter, I can just finish her off. There's nothing you got left. Your life points have been reduced to zero. I did it! Ah, oh, how? I could never lose to such an amateur. No, really, I need to stress. I actually had trouble trying to win this one because Joey just has too much dumb, bad monsters in his deck. Oh, whatever, it doesn't matter. We're, let's play Curse, whatever you want to say. Maya, May I tried to tell you, there's, no, there's more to dual monsters than just kicking the other guy's butt. No, there ain't, Joey. If you're ever going to be a real champion, you got to learn to care about someone other than yourself. That has nothing to do with the card game, Joey. All right, we're on to the next one. Attack of the attack from the deep. 
The truth and power of the Millennium Puzzle was beginning to dawn on Yugi. During his duels, the puzzle infused Yugi with the power and soul of an ancient spirit. Though this was a major issue to ponder, there was a smaller but less important matter to deal with first. Oh, the dueling made me hungry. Did any of you guys remember to bring any food with you? Sorry, Joey. What were we thinking coming here with no food? How are we ever going to get through the rest of the competition without anything to eat? That's a good question, Joey. This dueling really takes it out of you. And I haven't seen any burger stands or restaurants since we got here. Sniff, sniff. I smell something cooking that way. They followed the scent to the beach where they spotted a campfire with several roasting fish in the distance. Oh man, I just love barbecued fish. Smells good. I bet it tastes even better. What makes you what makes you think those fish are yours to eat? Hey, trust me. We we eat first and ask questions later. Your stomachs will thank me. Joey ran down to the campfire. Joey would say anything to fill his be belly. Some people have absolutely no self-control. Stomach growl. Joey, save some for me. Tristan ran after Joey. It wasn't long before Yugi and Taya joined them as well. Joey grabbed one of the fish from the fire. Oh man, this looks awesome. Just as the team began to bite into the fish, a young man emerged from the ocean with a spear in his hand. Enjoy yourselves, you fish thieves, for this is your last meal. I knew this was a bad idea. How dare you steal my fish, you bottom-feeding thieves. Hey, chill out, guy. It's just a few fish. A few fish that do not belong to you. And to steal a fisherman's catch is to prove you have no honor. Wait a second. Aren't you Mako Tsunami, the top-ranked ocean duelist? And who might you be? I'm Yugi Moto. I'm sorry about your fish. Well, they say Moto in the show, but it looks like it says Mudo. You're Yugi Moto, the only duelist to ever defeat Seto Kaiba? What a fine surprise. I must apologize. I've been rather ungracious. If you're friends of Yugi Moto, please sit down and eat your fill. The team sat down at the fire and shared a meal with Mako. After the feast, the team thanked Mako and started to head out. When Mako threw his spear at the ground in front of them, I treated you to dinner. Perhaps you will honor me with a duel? He's nuts! No, but I am an expert fisherman, and you have taken my bait. But what bait? Why, the fish, of course. I laid it out and lured you three right in, but I never expected to catch Yugi Moto. I reeled in another duelist a short time ago, but he was not a worthy opponent. But a duel against you, Yugi, would be a true test. Mako Tsunami, I, ex I accept your challenge. Alright, let's do it. Oh, synchro cards. We'll learn more about those when we get to the 5Ds. Let's do it. I need to just move. Um, you know what? I'll go first. From what I understand... I think you always, always want to go first in Yu-Gi-Oh. Alright. That's... Move my damn water bottle. What do we got? Going with massive right hand for crushing its victims. Be safe to set up with this, I suppose, since I can't attack. When that monster is destroyed, destroy this card. Mm. Do I want to play my Mirror Force yet? Um, no. I don't know if he's got, like, Heavy Storm or something to just get rid of it. Jellyfish. Normal summon a monster. No. Hang on a second. What is it? It cannot attack or change its battle position. I'll, wa I'll, I'll wait for him to attack. There you go. That's the only one he controls. Alright, he's got two face downs now. Those could be anything. What is this? Golem Sentry. Once per turn, you can change this card to face down defense position. When this card is flipped, summon, target your one monster your opponent controls, return that target to the hand. Interesting. I've never heard of this before. So, why does Yugi just have like this rock deck all of a sudden? Hmm. Hmm. 
and he's going to try and something. So I'm going to put that down now. And the phase. Come on. Yeah, I knew he'd sacrifice. Amphibian Beast, that's pretty decent. Yeah, you're dang right I'm gonna activate Mirror Force. Wait a second, why is... Why is this still on the field? Activate this card. When that monster is destroyed, destroy this card. So it's just stuck here now. Is that intentional? Or a glitch? I don't, I don't, I must be intentional. I'm just gonna say that now. All right. When this card is flit summon, target one monster your opponent controls. Okay. I'm gonna take a chance. I'm gonna test his face down. Yep, yeah, there it is. Whoa, what? When a monster is summoned, destroy all monsters on the field? What? What, that's the, oh man, that is freaking more bullshit than Mirror Force. Ah, that is just a safe thing. You can just put that down, wait for your opponent to build a board and be like, haha, now watch me destroy you. All right, it's fine. I still have this. Well, actually I have nothing now that I'm looking at it. Aqua Snake. Only 1,050. Turn change, turn change. Do I go for it? Do I give it the horn? Do I just, you know what? Or would I just, you know what? I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna set it and see what I can get next turn. Cause that's, I think that's a pretty safe defense option. A little slow, but it's fine. Oh God, he's summoning. Okay, it doesn't even have 2000, it's cool. Nice. Draw phase, Karibo. Not great. All right, so that's pretty awful stats for a five-star monster. I can't believe he it's even in his deck. Unless he has like a field spell to buff it really good. Hmm. <laughs> Easily, but that there's that face down to worry about. You know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm worried about that face down, but you know what? Let's 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 just go all in. Let's do it. I'm gonna buff my monster here. And we're just gonna attack it. Alright. That was a bluff. Oh, I'm having so much fun right now, you guys have no idea, like. I don't know if maybe you got if you guys didn't grow up with Yu-Gi-Oh, you probably won't be able to enjoy this as much, but I don't know, I love this. It's just fun. Pot of Greed! A bullshit spell card that just gives me free resources. Okay, I got the Magician. We're gonna summon this thing. Is 1300 enough? I'm gonna take a chance here. Yep, it was a bluff. What is that thing? Flying fish. Three wishes are granted to those fortunate enough to see this monster in flight. That's great. Now let's hit him hard. All right. I have got a good lead right now. Fissure. Ooh. I had that. I had that card when I was young. It's good. Just kills, kills the fi face up monster with the lowest attack on the field. Your choice if tied. Oh, I don't remember that being printed on the card. I guess it's a, uh, I guess I had to reprint it like that. Burning land, just to make him take that extra damage. Why not? Won't affect me really. And I'll set Karibo as a bluff. And maybe use it to sacrifice later. Let's get rid of that. He has a lot of normal monsters. You're gonna take some damage this turn now, son. He's set. What's this now? Okay, 
equipped only to a beast warrior type monster. That's very specific. Hmm. I guess we're just gonna attack this. Yeah, I've got him. I've I've got him. All he can do is just set a monster and try and hold me back from attacking. Whittling away his life points. Got swords of revealing light. That's good. But I could use another monster. Island turtle. That's another one I had as a child, actually. Pretty cool. You're just gonna slowly lose 500 each turn. Something I can whack with, please. That'll do, actually. Battle phase, okay, so. Let's see here, yep. That was good. Now I can hit him, oh, this'll kill him exactly. You win! What a grand duel! I salute you, my friend! This victory was not easily won, Mako. You're a great duelist yourself. New champion, king of games and stuff. Reverse duel unlocked. Booster packs and all this jazz. The dinosaur duelist. I have to do this one as Joey. Let's go. My Valentine sat on a hill, having a quiet moment to herself. I don't get it. Trashing hotshot duelists is usually as fun as, as fun as a fall clearance sale. Why can't I enjoy it anymore? Grr, it's all because of that obnoxious punk Joey. I can't believe such an amateur beat me. I've got to get even with that grinning gutter punk. At that moment, Rex Raptor, whom I dueled and defeated on the way to Duelist Kingdom, jumped out and surprised her. It's me, Rex Raptor, the Dino Duelist, and I'm itching to finish that match we started on the boat. Funny, I thought I already knocked you uh, you on your Jurassic butt. Think whatever you want. You're about to get stomped. You think I'm gonna waste another minute with a pea brain like you? Beat it, Dino Breath. Shoo shoo. Grr, pea brain. I happen to be a finalist in this year's regional championship, and I'll have you know I've already won five star chips. Maya held up her bracelet to show off her star chips. What? How'd you already get eight? From wannabes like you who think that by dueling a chick, they'll score some easy stars. I've only lost once, but once I find that punk kid Joey, it's payback. Joey Wheeler? How could you lose to him? I'd love to see you try. Hmm, that gives me an idea. Rex, I'll agree to duel you if you do something for me first. Mai and Rex search for Yugi and his friends in hopes of finding Joey. Oops, I hit right click, sorry. It wasn't long before they did. Ah, tell me that's not who I think it is. How are you, Joseph? Glad to see me? Es ecstatic. So Joey and Yugi is still fighting. So Joey, is Yugi still fighting all your battles for you? Everyone knows if Yugi wasn't there to hold your hand, you wouldn't have beat me. Isn't that right, Yugi? That's not true. Oh, really? Then I propose he steps out of your shadow here and now. If Joey thinks he's so tough, let's see him play for himself. Think you have the guts to step up and face the duelist, duelist I've arranged for you? I'm dueling on Mai's behalf. Recognize me? And that's Rex Raptor. This twerp's supposed to scare me or something? I bet you he ain't so tough. Don't you remember, Joey? Rex plays second in the regionals. Well, Joey, you gotta ask Mommy's permission or what? This is your big chance to prove yourself. Or are you gonna back out? Don't worry, sis. I'll make you proud. All right then, it's dino feeding time. Let's duel. Bring it. Here we go. Let's see what happens now. What's the deck gonna be like? Scissors. Where's it go? Here we go. All right, now I have some spells, finally. Let's see. Cost down. Discard one card until the end phase. Reduce the levels of all monsters in your hand by two, even after they are summoned. Okay, that's an interesting card. I've never heard of that before. 
So again, increase the attack and defense of all beast warrior and warrior type monsters by 200 points. That would work well for him, I suppose. But do I want to set that up right away? Soul exchange, target one monster you control controls. If you tribute a monster, you must tribute that monster. As if you controlled it. You cannot conduct your battle phase turn. This card is activated. I see, I see. Hmm. Hmm. This might be my best decent idea I can do here. Let's just do this. End phase. It's a small boost, but yeah, there I go. Ah, oh, frig. And he gets stronger. Oh, boy. I just got bopped. I knew I should have waited. Alright, Swamp Battle Guard. This guard gains 500 attack for each Lava Battle Guard you control. And it's a 5 star! But I can tribute my opponent's monster. If you tribute a monster... Let's see, what's better here? Obviously that thing. You can special summon this card from your hand. When you do, your, your opponent can target one monster in their graveyard. Your opponent special summons that target to their side of the field. Wow! Why would you ever want to give your opponent that effect? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna activate Soul Exchange. I'm gonna select that. And now I can tribute that monster this turn. Tribute your monster to summon mine. And now, I get a boost, and I'm stronger than you. Oh right, I can't conduct my battle phase this turn. I guess that's it. Oh no, he has that too? Sword arm dragon. Sword arm dragon, but it's a dinosaur, not a dragon. All right, Axe Raider, an Axe Willie monster of tremendous strength and agility. Oh boy, he'd be just strong enough to take me down. Once per turn, you can toss a coin. If you call it right, destroy all monsters your opponent's controls. If you call it wrong, destroy as many as you control. And if you do take damage equal to half, you probably can monsters on the field. Eh, why not? Let's do it. Let's, let's just go for it. 50-50. Call that one. Wow. <laughs> that was dumb. Can't believe I can just do that. And I can just attack him for... Oh. Threatening Roar. Your opponent cannot declare an attack this turn. Oh. Oh well. That was so silly. Wiped his board just like that. He's gonna attack me now. But I can wipe him out next turn. Alright, he's got nothing set. Trap hole is good to put down. Summon Axe Raider. Hang on a second. Let's... This thing's art. Look at his face. He has a bit of a lead on me, but... Can he draw anything usable? I doubt it. He put his whole hand down now. And I got part of Greed. It allows me to draw two cards. Not great cards now. Joey, why is your deck have spells now? You're making me look like a goddamn liar is what you're doing, Joey. Alright, go ahead and try and summon something now, boy. Because I can just activate Trap Hole. You can't do nothing. Tiger Axe. A fast and powerful axe willing beast warrior. All beast warrior types and warrior types. Okay. This is good. Bottomless Trap Hole. 
And there he goes. Oh, 2,000. Miracle Jurassic Egg. While face up on the field, this card cannot be banished. Each time a dinosaur-type monster is sent to your graveyard, place two counters on this card. You contribute tribute this card. Special summon one dinosaur-type monster from your deck whose level is equal then or is less than or equal to the number of counters on this card. Okay. That's an interesting idea for a card. It certainly has the defense to stay on the field. Leo Gun. A huge monster with a lion's mane. I get, that's a beast. It won't get the boost. But I need a sacrifice to get it on the field. I just use Soul Exchange. I want to get rid of that egg, that's for sure. Even though its stats aren't worth the tribute, the Soul Exchange makes it it's a good situation to be in right now. I can't conduct my battle phase, that's correct. Forgot. He has nothing in his hand. Twin-headed Rex. Opponent flips summon a monster. Ha ha ha! Kunai with chain. We'll just set that down. And you are free to smack, son. He's got less than me. And I have that face down for if he somehow is able to attack now. No, 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 no. I don't want to activate that. Twin headed Rex again, huh? Select a monster to equip that one. Oh, I didn't re uh, I didn't realize he was dead. Fuck, I don't understand what, what I did there. I'm a dumbass. All right, let's finish him off here. Start one card, reduce the levels of all monsters. Scarred, summon. And now he gets a boost. And now everything I have is stronger than you. So guess what's going to happen? Almost got him. Just a little bit more there. Another set. He has nothing. Just finish him off. Black Dragon Chick. Why do you have that? You can send this face-up card to control the graveyard. Special summon one red eyes black dragon from your hand. I had that card as a, as a kid too. Oopsie. No, no, no. Finish him off there. Direct attack. So I guess you won my star chips. Not only did I win your star chips, but I won your red eyes too. Yay. Red eyes black dragon. The signature signature card. Miracle Jurassic Egg. That's all cool, but I don't want to use the evil spirit of the ring. How long have I been going here? Let's just see here. Over an hour. Let's do one more duel. Go here. Later that night, the team settled down for dinner when they were visited by their high school friend, Bakura. As they chatted around the campfire, yeah, campfire, the conversation soon turned to dueling. Let's have a duel right now. Not for star chips, but just for a little fun. I'm down with that. After all this star chip stuff, it would be nice to have a duel with no strings attached. I agree. I think just a regular old duel sounds like a great idea. Before we get started, there's a little something I'd like to share with you, and especially with you, Yugi. 
No, it can't be. A Millennium item? Yes, and the magic of my Millennium Ring will take us to the Shadow Realm. Why are you doing this, Bakura? You have something I want, and I aim to take it. Bakura, possessed by some unknown spirit, used the power of his Millennium Ring to, lo to lock away his friend's souls. Their souls have been locked away, and now, are, after waiting for countless centuries, the legendary Millennium Puzzle is mine. Just as Bakura tried to grab the Millennium Puzzle, it started to glow. The spirit within the puzzle awoke, manifesting himself in Yugi. No, it can't be. You want my Millennium Puzzle? Then you're going to have to duel me for it. But if I win, you'll release my friends and set a send us all back. Ha! I agree, I agree to your ridiculous terms. Yugi, but I promise you, there is more at stake here than you comprehend. And this is one shadow game that you cannot win. We'll see about that. Psy frame overload. That is like those, those wacky future cards with all their wacky effects. I don't know how they work. Scissors. Dang. I'm first to go anyway. All right, let's do this. All right, let's activate Graceful Charity here. Two, three. Now I need to discard two, right? Yes, yeah, two. Destroy all face-up rock-type monsters on the field. What? Why would it? That sounds like the worst card ever because rock-type monsters are like the most one of the most unsupported types and there's barely any of them in the game. Especially during this era. Alright. I'm gonna discard one of my Dark Magicians, because if I draw a Monster Reborn, that just means I can get one out for free. So here's what we should do. Should I just summon that in defense? Why not? And just so I can build a board, I'm gonna go ahead and activate Swords of Revealing Knight right away. So for three turns, I'm safe from attacks. There wasn't really a need to set the monster, I guess, but... Change of heart! Takes my monster! He's gonna sacrifice it now! The Earl of Demise. A gentlemanly creature, extremely wicked, feared by man and fiend alike. What does that do? Each time a monster is sent to the graveyard, to your opponent's graveyard, inflict 300 damage to your opponent. Wow, okay. Oh boy, boy, what's in my fusion deck here? Flame Swordsman. Oh yeah, because in the anime, uh, Yugi has, yeah, yeah, some of his friends are turned into cards and he has the Flame Swordsman because Joey gets turned into it for some reason. I don't know, it's kind of dumb and weird. All right, well, he can't attack me still. I have that benefit, so all I can do is set that for now. If I had that, I could have polymerization, but. Hmm. Nothing I can do. I need a drink. What's it gonna do? Alright. I only have one more turn, and I got nothing out of that. I might as well summon... Make... Uh, summon the summon skull. Blah, blah, blah. Redundancy. And I lose life points because I tributed. I can still attack, at least. Let's get rid of this thing. Alright. Uh, one more turn, I'm safe from his attacks, but... Man-eater bug! Oh, I hate that thing. He had that thing in the episode of the anime, too. Ugh! All right, that's it. Oh, I better draw something good. Pot of Greed. Oh yes, this is exactly what I need. Kagamusha of the Blue Fame, Flame, serving as a double for the ruler of the Blue Fame. He's a master swordsman that wields a fine blade. That's great for him. As that thing has 450, I can attack it. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna summon that. I'm gonna activate Monster Reborn. Now I can bring out 
either summon skull or dark magician. I might as well just bring dark magician, it doesn't matter. Put it in attack position. And with the battle phase, let's hope that face down of his isn't gonna mess me up. I'm gonna. I'm gonna attack his man eater bug and see what he does. Okay, it's gone. Now we're gonna attack this. What was it? Electric lizard. What does it do? Electric lizard. A non-zombie type monster attacking electric lizard cannot attack on its following turn. That is a very odd effect. Um, I guess we're done. Looks like I don't have to worry too much about that face down. It's not a mirror force. White magical hat. He's attacking me. Upstart Robin Goblin. What does that do? All this stuff is happening. What? Oh, got, what? This dude has combos going on. Okay, let me just read these cards now and find out what happened. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent's life points, your opponent discards one card randomly from his or her hand. That's great. And Robin Goblin. Each time a monster you control inflicts battle damage, your opponent discards one random card. Beautiful. The Kaganigan. Kaganigan. He uses both the physical. He uses both the physical and shadow form to attack. So he's he's a tough monster to be. What the fu what the fuck is this dialogue here? Let me. He uses both a physical and a shadow form to attack, so he's a tougher monster to beat. Did Joey write this? That's that's okay. He's a shit monster to beat to be shit monster to use, actually. Alright, so he doesn't have anything face down. I can destroy this. Let's just summon this now. Um, sorry? Battle phase? Uh... Why can't the Dark Magician attack? No? What gives? Did I miss something here? Oh, it's because I destroyed Electric Lizard. That's probably it. Hmm, well, I guess I just messed up. Now I'm gonna lose my... lose that thing, and he's gonna get another free card out of my hand. There's more life point damage. You go ahead and do that, friend. You go ahead and do that. Magician of Faith, target one spell card in your graveyard, add it to your hand. We're gonna set that. Okay, the ultimate wizard in terms of attack and defense. Well, now I can destroy you, buddy. Graceful Charity. Everybody gets that card. He's got some face down stuff. Dinosaur. Anthrosaurus. This man like dinosaurs got a high IQ even though he's lacking in the strength department. Kind of like you if you had a high IQ. Yeah. What the hell? This is a real card, by the way. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Yeah, there it is. We're gonna flip summon Magician of Faith. 
And I'm gonna add, okay, here's the thing. Should I add Monster Reborn and summon another Dark Magician? Or should I add Pot of Greed and, hmm. Graceful Charity is not very good because I have no cards in my hand currently. Swords of Revealing Light, also probably not. Palmerization, no. I'm still worried about his face down there. I'm gonna go with Pot of Greed. And that'll give me some more resources to work with. I can still activate it, right? Yeah, I can. What do we have? Soul Charge. Target any number of monsters in your graveyard. And special summon them. And if you do, you lose a thousand life points for each monster. Special summoned by this effect, you cannot conduct your battle phase. The turn this card is activated. You can only activate one soul charge per turn. That is a weird card. I've never heard anything like this. It sounds like it can be broken. But let's take down some stuff. Morphing Jar. Both players discard their entire hand and draw five cards. That is very good for me. But also it can be very bad. Happy Lover. Enemies become overjoyed when struck by the heart ray emitted by the forehead of this tiny cherub. I have another monster reborn now. Regeki, destroy all face-up monsters your opponent controls. Horn of Heaven, when monsters would be summoned, tribute one monster, negate the summon if you do destroy that monster. What? Okay. Now, should I just go with monster reborn here? I can summon a- oh wait, I can't. I'm in the battle phase. It's still happening here. That's still happening. Alright, Dark Magician, attack this thing. Electric Lizard. Okay, so I'm not gonna be able to attack with Dark Magician next turn. But I'm having a comeback here, it's fine. Just attack. Main phase two. I can't summon stuff, but I may as well set this face down. I guess I'll just end my turn. I got the resources to work with next turn, but so does he. This game could still go anyway. Oh, uh, that thing again. Normal summon to card, huh? Yeah, I think I will. Horn of Heaven. Target, select a monster tribute. I'll just do Magician of Faith because she's pretty weak. Go ahead and deal your little meager damage, friend. You got nothing. You got nothing right now. Here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna summon this. I'm gonna activate Monster Reborn. And we're gonna bring in another Dark Magician. And we're gonna go to the battle phase. And this one can't attack, but this one can. There goes all, look at all those life points you just lost. This won't finish you off, but you better have a comeback move coming for me. Look at that. Look at that. Even if you summon something, I got Regeki, or no, the Lightning Vortex. That's not Regeki. They looked exactly the same. Sorry, pardon me. And change. Draw face. Rock Ogre Grotto number one. Protected by a solid body of rock, this monster throws a bone shattering punch. I guess I'll just summon it, I guess. Battle phase. Just let one magician kill this. Another electric lizard. How many of these do you have, friend? Finish him off. You win. Your opponent's life points have been reduced to zero. Are you okay, Bakura? I am now, thanks to you. Where'd you get your Millennium Ring? My father picked it up on one of his trips. He told me it's from ancient Egypt. He was shopping in a merchant bazaar when the Millennium Ring caught his eye. The man who sold the ring to my father said it had something to do with dual monsters. But that never made any sense to me since the card game is new and the ring is clearly ancient. When my father got back, he gave it to me. He said he felt like I was destined, destined to have it. 
Uh, your father is an awful person, to be honest. Next. Sneak attack, or panic attack. That's the guy we gotta fight next, but... God, this goes on quite a while, isn't it? Boop, boop, boop. But... That's all we're gonna do for now. 14% completion. We're gonna go ahead and call the episode here. I'm having fun with this game. I hope you guys are enjoying it. We're gonna take a little break, maybe play a couple other things this afternoon. But anyways, thank you all for watching and see y'all next time. Have a good night, bye-bye.